they're trying to say. Let's work together. Let's work together is what they're trying to say, right? But if we look at what it means to be to be a family in the in a real family context, um, I don't have to do anything to get significance in a family. But if I'm at work, I do have to what? I gotta work. I gotta produce something, which is how I get my significance at work. How do I belong to an organization? I pay my union dues, right? I have a contract. If I violate my, my union, you know, uh, my union stuff, or I violate my contract to don't live up to my end of the bargain, what happens to me? Boom! Right? Um, and then lastly, uh, safety. Where does my safety come in an organization? Okay. <laughs> It comes around from the quarterly uh, safety inspections, but it also comes from my ability to perform to the mission, right? And so sometimes people get this, this family concept confused with, with how we should be focusing on work. Um, so I'm going to take that and in, in, in draw that out just a little bit. And so when I talk about um, Somali families, what do you think Somali families want? Anything that's free. Explain that. Well, they, they have a sense of entitlement when they come to America. Okay. And do Americans have a sense of entitlement? Here's an example. And, and this is what I want to, I'm going to talk about. And it's funny, I'm doing a documentary on this, right? So um, Americans actually believe that you're supposed to have a good day. Have you ever found yourself saying that? Somebody said, how, you know, how was it? It was a good day. Yeah, I had a good day. And we expect to have a good day. However, in other parts of the world, what do they expect to have? A day. Right? So, so I think, and I know you're trying to uh, engage us in, in conversation. Um, what I'd like for us to back up and think about the circles that we drew, right? And we found that we had significance, belonging, and safety. I'd like to offer you that just as you have these three things that are part of the circles that you're responsible for, that these are your goals, that these are also other people's goals, right? But how is it... So, so... There's the illusion that we look different. And I say that on purpose, because this is an illusion. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Yes, sir? His adding to his thing there, you got a goal, but our ways of getting to the goals are different than their ways of getting to the goals. That's absolutely correct. That's exactly, that's exactly it. So I'll use this as an example, right? So here's the goal, and it's significance belonging and safety, all right? So what are some of the ways, so you make a, a very good point, so what are some of the things that are different about how we try to achieve our goals than let's say, let's use the Somalis for example, and then we'll talk about other groups as well. So what are some of the ways, what are, yeah, some, what are some of the ways that we try to get to our goals? Work. So work, right? Okay, what else? Community. What's that? Community. Community. Okay. Education. Education. What else? Home. Home. Okay. Home, family. I'll put family and home together. I'll take one more. I'll take one more. Faith, okay. Okay. So we talked about these are the ways that as Americans, this is how we try to get to our goals. 
What about any of that stuff? Let's think about Mexicans. It's the exact same thing. It don't matter what they are. They have the same goals, too. It don't matter what color your skin is or what nationality you are. Ultimately, they want the same thing we want. I mean, well, same. why do we have... Th and, that, that is very true, and I agree with and you. And there's, it don't matter what color <clears throat> skin they are, how they go about getting it. it. It could be a white person wanting three just as much as anybody else. Right. So how do we, how do we have this illusion that we actually want different things? What, what starts to create that? And I'll tell you, I won't hold you in suspense, right? So we all have... Oh, you just bought them all. I guess so. <laughs> I'm like, it says try and raise on here. So here are our goals. These are some of the ways that we try to get to our goals, no matter where we come from. But there's a filter between how we do that and what our goals are. Because we want these three things, significance, belonging, and safety. That's what we all want, all of us. I don't care where you come from. But then there's this filter that kind of buffers between the two of these. And what's in this ring here is geography. Where I physically come from has something to do with how I try to get this stuff, what work means. For example, um, in cultures where the growing season is long, is time as important as, is time as important or compared to people where the growing seasons are short? Which of those two cultures would value time more? Or the shorter season. season. Why? Because there's more to do and there's more to team, more to do in a little bit of time. So after thousands of years of operating like that, we get to our modern time and people say, well, certain groups of people are lazy because they don't value time the same way that my group of people have valued time over thousands of years. Right? So 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 there's that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's also Politics, right? So politics gets in the way of us achieving our goals and demonstrating what we, what we want to do. For example, there are groups and cultures where, and I, I know we don't believe this in the United States, but the cops are crooked, right? And so, and so if I come from an environment where I can't trust the police and I get pulled over by a cop, one of the things that I would do in my country, right, is get out the car. If I get out the car in the United States when a cop pulls me over, what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? They're going to be like, the, the cop is going to get itchy and say, get back in the car and it's not going to be polite about it, right? So here I am having this culture clash because where I came from, that's how we did things. I walked up to the cop as opposed to having him come walk to me walk to me, right? Now, so there's, there's the geography, there's the politics, and then there's the concept of what money is and, and what money means, right? In the United States, money is equal to what? Starts with T and ends in I'm. <laughs> right? Money is time and time is money. What if I don't value time the way other people value time? Then what does money mean to me? It means less, right? And so, um, so those are some ways to, to examine why some of these things appear to be different. Now, I, I, I hear the argument that says, when you're in my country, you should learn my habits and the way that I interact with the world. And I agree with that, 100%. At the same time, for your grandparents and for my great-great-grandparents, that did not happen overnight. 